Hi there everyone, welcome to the weekly angel message. I'm Rachel Skoltok and just here with you with some cards and the angels today to give you a message for the week ahead like I always am. I'm a little bit later than usual. I've been traveling today, traveling back into town and had a few appointments so I couldn't get to this earlier but here I am. And hey Kate, nice to see you here. So we're working with the Archangel Power Tarot deck today and I've also got a little inkling to get the Archangel Michael deck out as well. And I'll be giving you some, pulling some cards for you and just giving you some messages. So one of the things that people tell me that they've been struggling with at the moment is the Mercury retrograde energy, full super moon. Um, yep, yeah, it, it has been, it's been tough and um, quite emotional. I found it quite emotional, I don't know about you. Hi Kerry, hi Simone, nice to see you. And um, I think we're just kind of riding the waves at the moment, it's turbulent, turbulent waters and so we've got to pay attention to what comes up. But we've also got to, um, we've also got to keep an eye on our emotions and try and keep our vibe high and do things that make us feel good. Um, it's no good, you know, just just letting yourself spiral. So Kate says she's multitasking. I'm just going to unplug this so that it um, it's not interfering so much. That's good. Hi Patricia, nice to see you here. So, you know, how are you going with it all? Has it been emotional for you? Have you had stuff coming up for you? Have you had any insights and messages and guidance come through for you over the last week or so? Um, waiting for everyone to come online. Hi Rhonda. Hi Jenny Lee. Nice to see you here. Thank you for joining us. So of course that has been turbulent and what I decided to do after a really busy and turbulent week last week was to just take myself away. So I made a last minute decision and went away for the weekend, went on a road trip a couple of hours north and booked into a nice resort and just chilled really, went to see one of my favorite artists play. I surrounded myself with, with love, surrounded myself with relaxing things. And I found at, at first, and my ego really wanted to fight with me. Like it was like, this is gonna cost you money, you could just relax at home. Um, it was like my ego was just really loud. But I did it anyway because I had been feeling that sort of pull, I've gotta get away, I've gotta get away. Hi Lizzie, lovely to see you. Hi M. Maybe it's better doing it in the afternoon, Rhonda. <laughs> you made it. So as I said, I booked myself a, a trip away, went away, went to see my, my favorite artist. And you know what? That voice faded. I actually just told it to shut up, which is a really good thing to do. If you've got a negative voice going on in your head, just tell it to shut up. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Hi Mish. Hi Vivi. So I told it to shut up and I just did lovely things for myself. And I didn't feel like I could do much else anyway. I was pretty tired. But you know what, driving home this morning, I just had, I could feel my heart was lighter. I felt better about myself. I felt more inspired, more creative. I had more energy. And I realized that that guilt is so strong in all of us that sometimes we don't even realize that it's there. You know, it starts off with reasons why you shouldn't do something, why you should talk yourself out of things. You know, other people need you, maybe your pets need you, maybe you shouldn't spend the money, maybe you should be doing something else. You know, there's always something to do, isn't there? There's always on the to-do list, there's always something to do. But if we don't take those breaks or do something like a massage or go and do something for yourself, even if it's, it doesn't have to be expensive, you end up feeling better, you've got more energy, you're nicer to be around and you'll find that the things that you want to get done will get done more easily, effortlessly and everything starts to flow again because you, you come out of that unaligned, frustrated place and you come back into alignment with your divine self, your soul, your angel's divine source. And so it's just like your chakras align. You start to feel like you're in the flow again. And you know, when you're really aware of what your body and your emotions are doing, 
you can you can notice when things are off and have a list of things that you know that you want to do or that you love doing that put you back into alignment and i think it's really smart to do things like that now that you know on friday i booked it saturday i had all the guilt but by i just kept saying no no i'm doing this and of course i started to feel better and so it's obvious then that the guilt is nothing to do with your inner wisdom. Hi, Angela. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Joanna. Nice to see you. So we're just talking about guilt. The guilt, nine times out of ten, has no wisdom. It's not offering you anything that you need to listen to. It's actually just a habitual, negative, argumentative voice in your head that is trying to steer you off course and so what you need to do is do what you need to do for yourself and ignore that inner voice because it's actually not your intuition it's not coming from a, a higher place and what's really surprised me hi Natalie hi Jamie what's really surprised me now that I'm back is that the energy and the and the time it took and the money it took and I didn't you know I didn't focus on work while I was away um, it actually doesn't matter and since I've got back some really lovely things have happened to me which reminds me again you know we're always learning aren't we always growing is that when you put energy into yourself the universe responds by bringing even more energy towards you so you have to teach the universe how to treat you because everything in the universe is like a mirror so if you always put yourself last and put everyone else first and you're hoping and waiting that one day your reward is going to come, that's not going to happen until you put yourself first. And then the universe responds in kind and other people respond in kind too because what you're actually saying is I am worth looking after. I am worth having treats and rewards. I am worth abundance. You have to set the level, you have to set the value of that. And so that's, you know, I think we're always, we're always living and learning, aren't we? And um, I've, I'm still learning. And that was what I got out of my little weekend away where I spoiled myself just a little bit. And I ended up getting lots of reward in return. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Nancy. Thanks for being here. So that's my message for you today, is to start to notice when that negative inner voice, the guilt voice comes in, and recognize that that guilt voice doesn't have anything valid to say to you. It's, an, an, it's like a, a negative bacteria that's in the air, and it just you, you happen to breathe it in, and the way that it affects you is uh, it tells you that you shouldn't be doing something or you should be doing something else when you start to do self-care, when you start to look after yourself. So do you have that little voice? Thank you. Yeah, I had a haircut too. <laughs> With the lovely Abby, who's just amazing. Hi, Lara. So I'm going to pull you three cards from the Archangel Power Tarot, and we'll see if anything wants to come out of Archangel Michael's cards. And then when I teach card reading at my upcoming... Um, Angels at Uluru workshop, I always teach people that if a whole heap of cards drop to the floor while you're shuffling, then you drop them. But if a couple fall out, one to two fall out, then that's usually the angels have thrown them out for you. So um, we had a few, you know, if, if you if you drop, you know, most of the deck, then that's not the angels, that's just a, an accident. <laughs> So we're asking the angels, what is it that you most need to know this week? So Archangel Michael has stepped forward. I invoked him before we started and has said to me that fear is really strong among some of you who are listening. Thanks, Lisa. So um, fear is, is a subject to think about. So it has the current energy, has it been affecting your state of mind, your thoughts, your dreams? your um you know just the way that you're feeling you're feeling more anxious than usual and you're feeling that the strong emotions are coming up and they're more towards the negative than the positive and that's unusual for you then recognize that there's fear energy around that you might be picking up on 
So the angels are here with you, and that's one of their main purposes is to help us with fear because they know fear isn't isn't good for humankind. It's good, you know, it's a crocodile, you want to run away from the crocodile, right? That's when fear is useful, fight or flight, when there's you're facing something that you need to react quickly to. But when it's um, ruminating and it's coming up, all the time and it's affecting you and it's actually not related to anything like I was talking about guilt before then then what you're actually dealing with is a mental version of fear that comes from the ego and it might be your ego it might be someone else's but the angels can help you with that they will dissolve that fear they'll help you and they want you to use prayer um, energy surround yourself in light um, use your energy tools use your spiritual tools to assist you and ask those angels to help you, especially if you're feeling vulnerable or afraid. Hi, Nerida. Hi, Rosie, Courtney. Happy Monday, Laura. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Right. Wow. Don't you just love it? And this happens to me in my readings that I do. I record MP3s and as a reading for people. And um, I usually start off like I do on here as I talk. And usually what I'm talking about fits whoever this, the reading is for, obviously, because it's focused on them. But what I've just spoken about was what Archangel Michael brought up, which was about fear. Now, this first card is the Archangel Michael suit from the Power Tarot deck. And this shows two unicorns running towards each other. So it's almost like they're clashing. And this is a signal, like a sign from the angels, that you're going through a period either feeling stuck or blocked, or you are actually sabotaging yourself. So you see the, the unicorns are absolutely identical because it's the higher and the lower self. So in, in this case, they're trying to get somewhere, but the, the, they're crashing into each other, like they've got a conflict that's happening all the time. So this is saying that you things are going to work out fine, but you've got to get out of your own way. So... Focusing unnecessarily on negative thoughts, on what if, do you ever do that? What if this happens? What if that happens? What if that goes wrong? Oh, I better not do it then. So that's how you're holding yourself back. You're thinking from the fear perspective instead of um, the, well, what if it all goes right? You're overanalyzing, you're overthinking, you're spending too much time in your head. And so Archangel Michael's here with you and with his sword of light. And he just wants to clear away some of that mental junk from you so that you can move forward. Now you can see in this, you might want to see that sunset behind. Now I, I see that as a sunset. So it's like something's coming to an end and you're not letting it. You're not letting go in some way, shape or form. And you've got to let go fully. You've got to get out of your own way. The second card, this is the guidance. This is the nine of Michael. Now, this is just amazing considering what I what Archangel Michael said to me just before I pulled the cards. You saw me shuffling. This is the nine of Michael. Your worry is unnecessary. This shows a little, um, look, it's like a, a young man. He's sitting up in bed. It's nighttime. You know when you have, you either have bad dreams or you just can't go to sleep at night because your mind is racing. And the owl is coming in through the window, not as a scary thing, but because the owl is coming in with some wisdom, it's like at night, everything is shadowy, everything is dark. It's, you know, your mind can go wild. You can think about things that just won't happen or you can imagine you're hearing noises. This is a sign that your worries are unfounded. So if you've got fear around you at the moment and you're anxious about something that's happening or might happen, the angels are saying your fears are unfounded. You're worrying unnecessarily and you, you're thinking of the absolute worst case scenario and you've got to drop it in order for you to find balance and to come back. Now, these cards came out upside down. So with the power tarot and the angel cards, it doesn't mean a reverse meaning. It actually gives it a strong underline. It's like, you know, we really want you to get this message that fear is controlling your mind and that is holding you back at the moment. Hi, Sharon. Justin, Courtney seems to say, this is resonating with you, is it, Courtney? So Archangel Michael will help you, will allow you to release your guilt, your worry, your stress, anything that is holding you back at the moment. Surrender it to him. 
remember that he's he's like a, a million halogen lights he's so bright in his power and and the light that he carries so all darkness evaporates in his presence so you need to let go of those fears and surrender them to him and then ask that you you think the thoughts of the divine you think the thoughts of god so that you're aligning your mind with the divine mind you're aligning your consciousness with a higher form of consciousness people say all the time why aren't i manifesting what i want well the reason often is because your consciousness is in a low place your thoughts are centered around the negative what if it doesn't happen why doesn't this person like me what about what that person did to me two years ago when you're stuck in that maya your, your consciousness is too low for you to align with the universe to manifest something different and the outcome if you release these stresses is about a brand new situation is manifesting for you now at the moment you can see this beautiful goddess that's sitting on her magic carpet and Archangel Raphael's behind her and she's thinking she's contemplating and I see her look if you look at the juxtapositioning of her you know she looks quite contented sitting there daydreaming her castle in the sand behind her which means she's starting to build from the mental and emotional perspective she's starting to build something that she's manifesting something new she looks quite happy she's daydreaming sitting there on the beach the fella before he's sitting up in bed bolt upright and he's terrified he's stressing he's worried so this is the outcome that all of your stresses are going to melt away and you're going to start to be able to manifest so this is a kickstart for you Stop thinking about what you don't want. Stop thinking about the things that you worry happen and come back into what you do want. But first there has to be a process of healing. You have to do something to step away from the fear, get rid of it, hand it over, cut the cords, you know, maybe do what I did, have a couple of days off so that you can clear it from you. And then there's, you know, the new dawn is coming. There's the calm ocean behind her. She's protected by Archangel Raphael. She's in a space where she's not under any threat whatsoever. So this is what's coming for you, but you need to do the work of releasing your mental grip on fear. So let's pull the final card from Archangel Michael, and that is believe and trust. Believe and trust. Look at how he's... he's He's got his sword there and he's fought his way out of the dark forest. And he's come upon this beautiful area and there below is this gorgeous water flowing. He's coming back into the flow, the divine flow of life. He's come out of the darkness into the light. He's cleared away all the things that have held him back. There's something beeping. So that's your um, message. Yeah, there you go. So Lisa says, let go of worry and get out of your own way is a good advice for you at the moment. Yeah, so I think what's happening, to be honest, is that this intense energy, you know, we're like, we're almost like crystals or radio antenna, that when we, um, when the energy changes around us, we pick up on those vibes. And those vibrations, actually, because we're vibrational beings, they affect our vibration. And so we can get a little bit kind of frazzled and a little bit, you know wound up and we can pick up on fear very easily from outside and look at the things that have happened in the world there's you know there's um cyclones going on at the moment in australia and on the northwest coast um there is there's all kinds of things going on in the world and when that kind of stuff happens and you hear about it or you just pick up on it in your in your system and you're sensitive it can fool you into thinking there's something wrong with me or there's something wrong that's going to happen to me but you may just be picking up on the energy of other people mass consciousness and so when that fear rises up you can get all out of out of sync and then we go to our default thinking so you know I come from a long line of people who worry <laughs> I come from lots of nervous people in my family and so that's a kind of a default setting for me too it's easy for me to get out of sync and get into anxiety 
but it shows up for me differently than it does for other people in my family. But I have to be aware of myself and go, okay, this is what's going on right now. I need to get back to grounding. I need to get back to my happy. I need to be around people that lift me up. I need to do some things by myself that make me feel chilled and good in my body again and dissipate those vibes out and recognize that it's nothing to do with me and own my energy again. And that's what you need to do, own your energy. Because if the fear energy is around you, which is gonna be, we're on planet Earth, right? It's a duality. You're going to encounter fear energy. And so, and you're an energetic being who is connected to other people. You cannot not be. You don't exist in isolation. So you have to come back to your angels and recognize that they are beings of pure love. That's why we've got them. They're here to anchor us into that love and that peace. Hi, Veronica. Hi, Karen. Karen's worked through her blocks today. Well done. Rochelle, is it different having an afternoon session rather than a morning one? Michelle, Rachel, nice to see you. So thanks very much, everyone. You know, keep looking after yourself. Keep talking to your angels. Keep asking them for help. You know, if you're stuck, just pray. You know, that you'll feel that fear draining out of you if you consciously ask for it to be released and you ask for, for a, different, a different mindset, a different presence, something good to happen. It will happen, but you have to do the work as well. You have to do the, the, the pay attention to yourself and breathe and do all the right things. Hi, Natty. Hi, Lan. Hi, Desley. So I'm just about to finish, but you'll have to watch the replay. I'll be sending this out this afternoon with my... Um, with my weekly blog so you get an article and the newsletter as well and the video as well and if anyone's still interested in Uluru I spoke to the conferencing um, people who are managing the accommodation they they know they're going to sell out very soon but they have released a few more rooms and there's some budget rooms left too so if anybody that wants to come to our Angels at Uluru retreat May 18th and 19th at Ayers Rock Resort. It's a stunning resort. It's not in it. Somebody asked me the other day if it was roughing it. It's not roughing it whatsoever. I love that resort. I actually went over over Christmas when it was stinking hot because I love the resort so much. And you can see Uluru from certain parts of the resort. You can watch the sunset, sunrise, watch Uluru turn from, you know, beautiful orange to purple, you know, to gold. It is an amazing place full of magical spiritual energy. It's got um, some very powerful energy out there that has a transformative effect on, on everybody. But I think conscious people have a, um, a, a quite amazing experiences out there. I think people who aren't spiritually aware or not interested, which is their right, they, they sometimes get confused or find it a bit intense or maybe they love it but they don't know why. That when you're conscious and you go out there and you're really aware of the beings that surround that place and the magic that is there, you can have a, an amazing transformation. But of course, we're doing two days of working with the angels, working with your guides, connecting into that magical energy, teaching you to harness it, cleanse your energy, working with crystals, working with angels, working with angel cards. So it's pretty magical. We're also going to have a ceremony at the base of Uluru as well in a really shady, gorgeous spot where there's some sacred stories and some um, beautiful rock art to have a look at. Um, so if you want to come to that, there's still time. It's two months away. So you need to get in touch with me very quickly because the rooms are running out and um, it's well worth your while. Karen's been. She says it's a, it was amazing. Hi, Cassandra. Thank you so much. Hi, Jane. So please get in touch if you would like to come to Angels at Uluru. And in the meantime, have a great week. Angel blessings. Thanks for being here. Mwah.